what is going on guys so we are doing an event today for a rally the event's over but i'm gonna still show you guys what we went through and what i saw but check this out A 765 LT McLaren looking so good in this color. I don't know what color this is. We got a 720S right here. So they came from Miami to Austin and they're here today for the F1 racing that's gonna happen. And then we have another McLaren right here. I don't know what color this is, but it's another amazing, amazing color. And then the, the, the showstopper is to me was something I never thought I'd see before. A freaking speed tail. Sorry about the exhaust. I can't do nothing about it. The exhaust system up top is going off right now because all the cars just left. So we got the speed tail. Man, this car here, it is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Look at the carbon fiber. I know it's hard to tell, but believe me when I say this carbon fiber is amazing. 21 inch wheels. You got the gold wing doors that go up. Center cockpit with the two side, the two passenger seats. This thing is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I never thought I'd see one in person, but I saw one today. It was definitely fun, definitely fun event here. Um, I know it's real short, real quick, but I just wanted to share with you guys. We're gonna go back home and fix the Z now. I'm going for the coilovers on the Z and get the Z started. So I'll catch you guys in a second. I have my computer here. We're gonna be upgrading because I'm gonna actually make a couple of gaming videos down the road when Need for Speed Undone, Undone, Unbound comes out. So I need to upgrade the CPU and I need to get a better cooling in my C in my computer so that way I can actually do that. It can handle it now, but I also want to do video editing, which is be helpful for me. So what's in here is a Ryzen 5600G, which is not clockable. You can't overclock it. It's kind of locked up to what it is. So what I went ahead and did was upgrade to the Ryzen 5900X. So we're going to actually install this and install the cooling for it. And I have no idea what I'm doing, so we're going to learn together. But I do know first things first that CPU has to come out and this has to go in. I'm gonna install this first because if I can't get this installed, I won't be able to use this. So I'm gonna install this first and we're gonna put it right here unless it fits up there. So we're gonna unbox this here. As you can see, it's just kind of coming out of the wrapper. If y'all don't see this, that means that I failed and I don't know how to do it and I broke it. But nevertheless, unboxing, we got styrofoam. Oh, I also got the white version as if you couldn't tell. We have the cooler here. We have one fan. Nope, I'm sorry. We have the two fans. I have no idea what this is. I think this is all the hardware. And then we have the radiator. And then we have the actual CPU piece. So nobody ever reads instructions, but I'm going to read instructions for the first time. This is not my wire management. This is actually how I bought it. Only thing I did was added this blue wire in for my other hard drive that's just hanging out at the bottom here. All right. So we took the fans that are on the top. I'm sorry. We took the fans that were up in the front, we're gonna move them to the top of the cabinet, that way we can still utilize them. I know a little bit about computers, but definitely thought to myself, if I can pull an engine out of a car, I can do this. We're going to find the arrow, which there's an arrow on there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. There's an arrow right in the corner. You can't really tell. On this one, you can actually see the arrow's a lot bigger. 
You can see that little gold arrow in the corner. That belongs to a certain spot on the CPU. This one is just a lot smaller arrow, but the arrow's in the same position. So if you're removing one and putting one on, it's simple as that. So take it. Ryzen is going to be facing the back of the computer and ever so gently, just like that. It just slides into place, honestly. There is no pushing it down. There is nothing. And then you take your little clip and boom, and it's locked in there. You just have to literally drop it in. Don't drop it, but place it and then you'll find it. You'll feel it just fall into place. All right. So ignore this back here. This is just, you know, first time, whatever. All right. Ready? Hey, we don't have lights on top though. The fans are working on top, but the lights are not working on top. Hmm, hmm. Do I have screen? I don't have screen yet. I don't know what those lights mean down there, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what it gets to. Uh-oh. New CPU installed. Press Y to reset if you have BitLocker or Crypt enable. The flip does that mean? I resorted to this. I had to completely reset the computer. Factory out of the box. Hopefully this works. But in the meantime, I did get the top lights to work. They're just frozen. I don't know why they're frozen, but they're frozen. After time and time, it's been two days, I can't get the computer to actually register. I wanna say I kinda of messed it up. I'm just playing, I didn't mess it up. Here we go, boom, I don't know why it's that color. One second, um, I need to change this color. Anyways, yes, I like the green, I like the pink, I like the green, I like the pink. And then my roof is blue. I also like the blue. I like, the, anyways, it doesn't matter what color it is. End of the day, it is working functional 100%. I managed to get this thing. I don't know how to overclock anything on CPUs. Don't mind the bears. That thing is automatic. I don't know how to change that. And it keeps coming up with random little cute animals. Uh, right now, my CPU is a Ryzen 5900X. The GPU is an RTX 3060, uh, 12 gigabytes. It's the three fan one. I know there's two different versions out there. I'm not sure what's what, but I know I have the three fan version. So that is my my GPU. Um, I'm currently running 1080p monitors. Don't ask me why. The monitors were $20 a piece when I bought them. Forgive me. They will be upgraded to 27 inches pretty soon. Pretty soon. The RAM, like I said, is DDR4, 32 mega, megahertz, um, 8 gigabytes each. There's two of them in there only. I only had this computer for about four months. I just wanted something that was going to be able to cross over and allow me to play games and do my editing of videos and pictures. So, Because um, one thing y'all don't know, I know I don't post a lot when it comes to videography because I, I don't just post to YouTube only. I do post or I do provide work. Uh, for another gentleman who does detailing. We will be doing a video shortly with me and him on the DSM, and we're gonna be doing a video on the, the 350Z as well. We're gonna be doing some work on that. He is a detailer slash PPF installer slash ceramic coder installer. So so what I was thinking of doing was doing events, not events, but like live streams of just me gaming about cars, building cars. Not It's not going to be a type to bore you guys because I'm definitely not here trying to bore you guys. Although that sounds that sounds contradicting to nevertheless, if you're making this far in the video, you're interested in what I'm having to say. So let me know what you guys think of that. Let me know if you guys feel that if, you, if you're interested in seeing some of that. I know I have a small subscriber base, but you guys are awesome. The ones that do watch you guys are awesome. I appreciate it all. Um, I will be coming out with more content soon. It's not just going to be about the cars that I have in the garage because sometimes I come to a dead end with those cars because I can't do much until I buy stuff and stuff ain't cheap. So, all right. Well, I just realized I recorded a whole bunch of stuff and nothing got recorded because I was out of focus the whole time. So. Um, this is not turning into a gaming channel guys whatsoever, but don't think that it is, but we will be throwing some games up here We're gonna have some fun with it for sure. Like we're definitely gonna have some fun with it and this right here Which you guys know the O We have an oculus and If you guys throw comments of the games that you want to see I don't care if it's horror. We'll do horror games. I'm not a gamer I'm really not a gamer, but I like to play racing games Does that make me a gamer? Does that make me a gamer if I like to play racing games but nothing else? But I know if you made it this far in the video, you're interested in this whole whole PC build that I just did, plus the games that are going to come about to the channel. And I know there's some gamers out there that love cars and they love games, so I'm going to bring the best of both worlds to the channel, so that way you guys can entertain. I'm not rich, so don't expect me to go out and buy the freaking 480 Ti that just got released or coming out in a few months. I'm not rich. What I have is what I have. Let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see me play. If it's Gran Turismo, you're SOL, because I don't have Gran Turismo on the PC. So, um, let me know below. Leave a comment. I'll catch you guys later.